Welcome to Trending Niches, episode number seven. This week, I've got some really good niches for you, including some that are looking a tiny bit ahead into the future, which is always good so that you can create designs ahead of time to pick up sales more easily. The first niche I've got for you this week, which is trending at the moment, is Jamaica. This has got quite a lot of t-shirts that are 100,000 BSR or less. And um, when I checked why this niche is trending so well, uh, I figured out that it is the uh, National Independence Day of Jamaica on the 6th of August. Now, 6th of August is obviously quite short notice. And if you're watching this video a couple days late, then the trend is most likely already over or trending down. But that is why I had a look ahead um, at the month of October and checked for other Independence Days and one that stuck out to me is the Ukraine. So basically the Ukraine's Independence Day is on the 24th of August, which is still a few weeks out. And that means you can get some designs out there. If you've ever like contemplated entering this niche, now is the time. I do not recommend, um, at least not on Merch for Amazon, uploading stuff like this right here. Uh, that sort of Putin spin or um, just things like I stand with Ukraine that are a bit too close to what's going on at the moment. But there's nothing wrong with selling something like this design here, Ukrainian girl or well, Ukraine with a, with a flower. Like I don't see any problems with those sort of designs that just generally relate to Ukraine uh, and different sub niches of the state. And the reason why I think this is going to do extremely, extremely well in terms of Independence Days is because this has been trending or selling well literally all year or since the, the war started. And patriotism, which is, well, sort of the main emotion why people buy these sort of shirts on an Independence Day, patriotism is often at its highest when a war is happening. So there will be way more people than usual that will be motivated to buy Ukraine related shirts and not just Ukrainians, but also we've already seen lots of other countries in the world. People are just buying these shirts to support the country in general. So this is definitely one um, that you should move into if you want to pick up some sales soon on, on and around the 24th of August. Niche number two is Little Miss, and this is a sub niche of back to school, which is obviously trending right now. Um, it's going to probably be trending for about another month. So uh, Little Miss, I noticed there's quite a few t-shirts selling really well with that style. Um, we've got the sort of messy hair bun with very, very girly sort of rainbow colors in the sunglasses, and you can obviously put different words like kindergarten, second grade in there. But generally the design style with that messy hair bun sells really well, unicorn ones as well. Uh, so do think of different ways of how to approach this maybe a different way rather than just copying uh, what's already there with Little Miss Kindergarten. Do try and think of other ways to approach the niche with a similar design style um, to, to get a high possibility of getting sales. But yeah, this is definitely a really good sub niche of back to school that's doing extremely well at the moment and will do for the foreseeable future. Next up, I've got Leo for you. And this is another niche that is slightly looking ahead a bit because it's not trending as much as it could be right now. So there's, there is a few designs that have got decent BSRs, but Leo is obviously a star symbol or star sign for the month of August. These will just go down in BSR whilst we're in that month. There is some cool cross niche ideas here like this one with the pride theme as well, some female ones. So you could target different types of groups of people within the Leo niche and that way you, you're niching down a bit. As you can see, lots of variety of designs selling right here. So there's definitely not one style that you need to stick to. There's plenty of possibilities to, to be creative. And looking at the best seller right here, we can see a few of the keywords, uh, short keywords and long tail ones that are used in the listing. And scrolling down, uh, we can see the BSR history, which shows us that last year during the month of August, as you can see from the 1st of August on, this design was doing extremely well. And then it was slowly dropping off towards the end of August. I'm guessing that's when the, the next star sign came in. Not selling too hot throughout the year. And now it is once again trending down. So get your designs ready right now if you want to be part of this trend. And niche number four on Amazon today is guitar. This is a, well, a design style or a niche that I noticed a lot while scrolling through the top sellers this week. There's loads and loads of different guitar designs. And um, yeah, I'd, I'm not certain why there's suddenly so many within the top sellers. Maybe it has to do with the, the Stranger Things finale and the, the guitar solo there, I'm not sure. But uh, generally, 
we see tons of different design styles. A very popular color scheme here. It always looks nice with the different guitar silhouettes. We've got some sort of nature cross niching right here with the trees. That looks really amazing. Uh, looks quite hard to, to design, but nice design style, definitely. Rock and roll, so you could probably type in rock as well and find that there's a lot of t-shirts selling well within that niche if guitars are doing good. Lots of different ideas here. You could even cross niche, for example, guitar with the, um, the year theme, 1952 right there, limited edition, which we know is doing really well, has been doing really well for, for weeks now. So cool idea right there to cross niche a popular common interest with a really well selling design at the moment. And looking at the best selling design right here with the nature crossover, we can see that the BSR, while it was already quite decent during the summer months, is definitely jumping up right now. God knows why, but uh, yeah, that's a an indicator right there or proof that the guitar niche is trending up at the moment and doing quite well. And another thing that you see an abundance of in the top sellers on Amazon right now are peace signs. So this niche is called peace. Um, you could also say hippie or 70s, that sort of theme. Definitely a lot of these design styles are doing extremely well at the moment. Uh, these sort of bubbly fonts right here, uh, you see them across loads of different niches working really well. Peace symbol, as I said, is, is cropping up in a lot of these designs, even these back to school ones right here second grade so a good idea right there to to cross niche someone mixed it with butterflies right there that's a cool idea so there's definitely ways to to spin this and make this unique um you could just just simply take the piece symbol or the shape of it and cross niche it with lots and lots of niches by adding different silhouettes or different illustrations like this person has done with the butterflies. And here's another design idea that I just quickly wanted to show you. It's the peace, love and volleyball one. And obviously it's scalable so you could replace the volleyball with any other sport or just any other hobby, maybe even music instruments or something, I don't know. Just be creative and I'm sure you can pick up some sales that way. Moving on to the red bubble niches, we've got ready to explore kindergarten. This is literally the, the top most trending thing on red bubble at the moment. It's not the most popular niche, but it's jumped in popularity the most in comparison to the week before. So this has jumped 8,007 spots. I think that's the, the highest popularity jump I've I've had in these trending niches. And it's in the 989th place in terms of popularity and it only has 418 results. That's the crucial thing. This is a, a very cool, small sub niche of back to school, especially for sort of red bubble sizes. And it's nice to see that this still exists. We can see some of the designs right here, very colorful. There's quite a few space themed ones, but obviously you can, you can change the overall theme there and do things like dinosaurs, unicorns, uh, or other things that children are just generally interested in. There's one right here, space and the leopard pattern rainbow in the background. That looks pretty cool as well. So just be creative. Um, a cool little sub niche for back to school that is trending extremely well on Redbubble right now. And next up, we've got an even smaller niche. It is not back to school, but it has to do with cats which is, as we know, a very popular sort of evergreen print and demand topic. So finding these sort of pockets of opportunity with small trending sub niches is a, a really, really good chance to, to create designs that might get quite a lot of sales during the trend and then also maintain evergreen throughout the year. So this one has jumped 5,000 points in popularity. It has got a ranking of 1,800, which is not the best in the world, but it's still pretty good for um, this sort of small niche. And obviously, as I said, only 200 results is crazy. So what you want to do with this one, of course, is finding some sort of or creating some sort of cat design to go along with this phrase and uh, make it look quite cute so that cat owners that are like really obsessed with their cats would want to wear it as a funny sort of design. And quickly taking a peek at the PODCS detail page for this niche, we can see that the top three categories in terms of uh, best-selling products in this niche are t-shirts with 51%, then stickers, obviously. Stickers always do really well on Redbubble, and cat mats. So if you are deciding to create designs for this niche and uploading them to Redbubble, definitely make sure to enable cat mats. 
it's one one of those products that you might just ignore because it will probably never sell <laughs> but for this niche it's definitely definitely feasible to enable it because not a lot of people will but the potential of actually selling them in this niche is definitely there then you get some uh, related tags right here the most used ones among the top sellers so if i scroll through these you can quickly take a look at uh, what sort of tags or keywords you might want to use in your listing um, and then also popular colors we see mainly black and white as usual and the average price is right here so i hope that helps you with entering this niche it's definitely a, a cool small one with a very low competition and sticking with the cat theme we've got cat making biscuits which has seen a jump of 4400 points in popularity and it is in the 800 in second place in terms of most searched for search terms on Redbubble right now. The results are very low, once again 378, and whilst you're designing stuff for that, uh, that other cat niche, you might as well try and come up with some of these. Uh, typically just a cat either kneading dough because you know making biscuits um, which might be a bit harder but generally you also see quite a few just just cat illustrations holding a cookie or something and uh, yeah a bit of text ne next to it making biscuits don't ask me why this specifically is trending uh, it's definitely a bit weird but it's doing well it's cats so there'll be lots of potential customers and it is a very low competition at the moment, so get in there early while well, there's not many search results. For this niche, we can see on Pure ECS that uh, in comparison to the other cat one, stickers is actually the most selling product. So maybe do optimize your designs for this one for stickers, meaning don't use as much white text, maybe stick to dark colors. That way you can enable all of the stickers on Redbubble and increase your likelihood of getting sales. Then second up, we've got t-shirts and aprons with just 2%. So um, that's definitely something to consider when you enter this niche and in terms of popular colors, very similar graph right here with mostly black and white. And sticking to the theme of very, very small niches, we've got getting by one successive approximation at a time with only 189 results and it has jumped 4,400 points of popularity which uh, is really good. I mean, I have got no clue why this is trending. I don't even really know what the phrase means. I hope I'm not the only one, <laughs> but uh, we don't have to understand what it means to enter this niche. As you can see, there's lots and lots of text designs that look very terrible, <laughs> or at least in my opinion, some of these are hard to read, like this one right here, very small text. Um, even if you hover over the thumbnail, you can barely read it. Just like this one, um, very, very difficult to read. So I'm sure that you can come up with some nicer designs, find some good fonts. I've got lots of font videos on my channel discussing free fonts and paid for ones that you can use to create better designs. Try and find a nice color scheme and um, some of these stickers are looking a bit better, uh, easier to read and nicer colors. So the best one is probably the one at the top here with that groovy sort of 70s design style, which is just doing really well at the moment. So that might be an idea stand out a bit in this niche i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of trending niches and if you want to get yourself ready for the next few months of t-shirt sales then you'll definitely want to watch this video next where i show you nine autumn niches that are going to do well in the month of september october and november